Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is July 3rd, 2017. Taking a look at our current solar conditions, solar wind is sitting at 426.5 kilometers per second with a density of 5.3. Still looking at lone sunspot region AR2664. It is exiting out and we are blank right now. KP indices, it's been up and down over the last 24 hours. Right now it's sitting at a one and the 24 hour max was unsettled at four. Looking at the SDO, we do see coronal hole action at the equatorial region of the star. And if you look towards the left at the nine o'clock position, you will see that we have another coronal hole forming and that will be earth facing in the near future. Solar wind flowing from the indicated coronal hole could reach Earth on 4th of July. Minor geomagnetic storm conditions were observed on July 2nd as Earth moved through a turbulent wake of passing CME. July 3rd should be quiet, followed by a return to minor G1 class storming on July 4th when a solar wind stream hits our planet's magnetic field. High latitude sky watchers should be alert for auroras, especially in the southern hemisphere where winter darkness favors visibility. Now, on to our weather. Taking a look at the storm chances of today, and you'll see in the middle of the country, Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Nebraska, parts of Colorado, uh, you guys are probably going to see more of the active weather today as far as severe weather goes. The rest of the country, it looks like, has a chance of at least scattered thunderstorms today. And one more thing before I toss it off to Mari here, I wanted to take a quick peek at the tropics. We have Invest 94 developing off the coast of Africa, and it looks like at this current track it is heading towards the Gulf of Mexico. So we will keep our eyes on that. All right, Mari. Thanks, Jake. Stressing out about clouds blocking your view of the upcoming solar eclipse this August? A group of lucky astronomy buffs can put their minds at ease as the moon blocks the face of the sun on August 21st. They'll be watching from 35,000 feet in the air aboard a charter Alaska Airlines flight. The flight's scheduled to take off from Portland International at 7.30 a.m. August 21st, and it'll head out over the Pacific coast for an early view of the total solar eclipse. The first to barrel coast to coast in 99 years. The airline isn't selling tickets to its high-flying viewing party. Seats are available by invite only, only to a select group of astronomers and guests. But Alaska Airlines will give away two seats as a part of a marketing promotion beginning July 21st on the company's social media outlets. During the August 21st eclipse, the moon will pass between the sun and the earth, blocking the solar disk and leaving only a wispy outer atmosphere visible. Weather permitting, Millions can watch as the moon's 70 mile wide shadow crosses the country through 14 states starting at 10 15 Pacific time in Oregon and ending at 2 49 p.m. Eastern time in South Carolina. Check out the article. We will have a lot more information coming up about the solar eclipse coming up in this August. We are very excited about it. You guys have a great day. Back to you, Jake. All right, that's going to do it for today, folks. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.